Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, Todd Crisley did an interview from inside Pensacola prison in December last year. Basically, he backed up claims by his daughter, Savannah about poor prison conditions. Now he's done a second interview, he mentioned being denied the right to worship in church. And, he reiterated further allegations of persecution by prison staff after the first interview with Brian Enton on NewsNation Now, Brian took some heat on social media. And, some people felt he'd just committed career suicide. Well, that never happened. After all, it's not like Savannah's dad is a major criminal with a chain of serial killings or physical abuse in his past, similar to Joe and Teresa Giudice, and Jen Shaw, Todd Crisley went to prison for fraud and tax-related crime. So, he's a white-collar prisoner. Therefore, he's nothing special. But, his message holds some weight on the way the inmates are treated. Bear in mind that Pensacola is not a medium or high-security prison. It's a low-security camp. And yet, a whistleblower who backs up claims of poor conditions alleges a heavy-handed warden, via the whistleblower, and from his first interview, the former patriarch of Crisley knows best alleged a poor diet, errors in the health department, and dangerous mold. Recently, the news arrived that allegedly, Jewish prisoners were denied things that they needed for worship. Additionally, there was talk of violence used by the guards. The latest interview, which you can watch further down in this article, covered allegations that the facility has no dental hygienist and no doctor. Allegedly, someone suffered a heart attack and an inmate who was a doctor had to see to his stabilization. Todd Crisley talked about how word got out about the new interview with Brian Enton. So, he couldn't attend church, prisoners don't have access to smartphones. So, he claimed that the prison guards thought he had sneaked in a phone. However, the previous interview was recorded while speaking to his lawyer. Therefore, Searching the chapel for a phone or other contraband seemed pointless to Todd. And, they missed their church service, according to News Nation Now, some allegations against the former Crisley Nos Best star seem serious considering he's a white-collar inmate, the former star has the grounds for his appeal, and it went incredibly far. Did you know that oral arguments are rarely granted? But, his case will be heard on April 19th and, not on a mere technicality either. One thing that fans of the old show believe, is that even if he gets to go home, Todd will keep on fighting for prison reform. What are your thoughts on the second interview that Todd Crisley did with Brian Enton? Shout out in the comments below, and come back here for all your Crisley knows best news. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our America People News YouTube channel for more update news.